Hello there, this is Pastor Dean. It's about quarter after two in the morning and I'm reading the Bible here and I needed some company, so I thought I'd turn the camera on. I was reading Mark chapter four and um, it, it, this is the, the part that I was really getting a, a kick out of. And, G, and Jesus is talking here. Then he said to them, Jesus, don't you understand this parable? How then will you understand any of the parables? The sower sows the word. Pay close attention now. The sower sows the word. These are the ones along the path where the word is sown. When they hear, immediately Satan comes and takes away the word sown in them. That really is the definition of a backslider. But, you know, I have been to healing services. And, you know, the, the great thing of a healing service is that you have the uh, availability to praise the Lord with song. And it creates fertile ground. It creates a softened heart when you praise the Lord and you uh, get into the get into the spirit of things. And after you, you, you praise the Lord, the, I preach the word about healing. And many times between the, um, the um, music and the preaching, healing actually makes sense and people will come after, uh, up, up to the altar after the, after the service, and I will lay hands on them after the praise and the worship and the preaching, and they will be healed. And then they will go home, and someone who doesn't believe in healing, oftentimes it's a Christian, or someone who is an unbeliever will put some doubt in that person's head. And Jesus was referring to that kind of a situation when he said, the sower sows the word. These are the ones along the path where the word is sown. When they hear, immediately Satan comes and takes away the word sown in them. What a pity. I have seen so many people come to our healing services and then they have not watered the sown that we have they have not watered the seed that we have sown in their spirits and they lose their healing I can I, I just can picture so many of them I pray for them Lord God in Jesus name give them what they need the number one reason people do not keep their healing once they receive it from God. And Satan will always try to attack you after you've received a, a healing supernaturally. But the big reason that people can't keep their healing is because they don't get into the scripture and start reading the words of Jesus, the New Testament. It's a shame. They could be walking, talking testimonies for the rest of their lives of the healing they received from Jesus. I have received so many healings. I have laid my hands on the sick and have seen so many healings distributed among a congregation because of the preaching and the teaching and planting of the seed. Only to see some people, not all, but some people go home, never pick up a Bible and lose their healing. Don't let that be you. Come back to our programs that we tape here on radio and on television here at Healing Hands of Jesus Ministries. Go to our page, Healing Hands of Jesus Ministries, and like the page and be a part of uh, our continuing education on miracles and how we can take the Bible and we can make the impossible possible. It's a wonderful way to live. I live with miracles on a daily basis. It is a wonderful way to live. 
God bless you. This is Pastor Dean. I love you. Talk to you later. Thank you for being a part of 40 Days to a Miracle, an HHJ production. This is Pastor Dean Pepin. If you'd like to write to me, our address is Healing Hands of Jesus, 1725 Berlin Turnpike, number 224, Berlin, Connecticut, 06037. Remember, the coffee pot is always on. <laughs>